In this video, we're going to learn about square roots. Determine whether the given figures can be arranged, rearranged into squares with whole number side lengths. If so, determine the square root of the number. If not, determine what two perfect squares the number lies between. Okay, so we're given, this is a rectangle, and it says it's 12 square units, so we can count them 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, uh, but it's a rectangle, it's not a square. So we are going to try to arrange it into a square and see um, if we can do that with whole numbers. So taking our 12 square units, we're going to use a spir spiraling process. Okay. So notice if I had one square unit, this is a square. Okay. Not very surprising. But now I'm going to keep going. Two square units, three square units, now four square units. Notice this would make a perfect square. Okay. But we have 12, so we have to keep going. So I'm going to keep spir spiraling around. Six, seven, eight, nine. When we get to nine, we have a three by three square that I just outlined in green. But we're going to keep going because we have 12, 10, 11, 12. Now, this is how many we have. Let me just highlight this in yellow. Okay. But I want to see what the next perfect square would be. So I'm going to keep going. 13, 14, 15, 16 would be a 4 by 4 square. And let's outline that in orange. So notice 12 squares were between 3 squares and 4 squares, 3 squared and 4 squared. So we had 1 squared was 1, that was our first square. Then we had this square, 2 squared equals 4. Then we had this square, 3 squared equals 9. And then we looked at the next square, 4 squared equals 16. And 12 lied in between 9 and 16. Okay, so that means the square root of 12 is going to lie between 3 and 4. Okay, and the square root of 12 is actually what we call an irrational number, meaning that it can't be written as a fraction of one whole number over another or integer. Okay, uh, but we can approximate it on our calculator, and we did get an approximation here. At least we know what two whole numbers it lies between. So we could take this figure and turn it into a square, but the side lengths would be between 3 and 4. So notice how this is between 3 and 4, and this is not perfect. So we'd have to take these squares, cut them up into some certain size, and fill them in here. Okay. So is 12 a perfect square? Well, our answer is no, because it didn't fit into one of our squares. It went beyond it. If 12 is a perfect square, what does square root of 12 equal? Well, not a perfect square. If 12 is not a perfect square, what two whole numbers does square root of 12 lie between? And we saw it lies between 3 and 4. Okay. Okay. So when you see this square root symbol, it's asking, what number multiplied by itself equals 12. That's what the square root of 12, so we pronounce this as the square root of 12 or radical 12, that's what this mathematical operation is asking you to perform. Okay, And let's just look at the calculator and we're going to get an approximation. So on this calculator, so your calculator, if you have the TI multi-view, uh, it has a square root button. My square root button is here. You would hit yours first and then hit the number. On this comes with a computer calculator. I hit 12 and then the square root button. Okay. 
So notice the square root is approximately 3.464. Notice the decimal goes on forever and ever. It doesn't have a pattern, okay? But this is the side length of the square, so about 3.46-ish, and that's an approximation that we would need to use to have an area of 12 square units, okay? So let's look at the next one. Here we have 36 square units, and we want to see if we can write this as a perfect square. So I'm going to start labeling in the middle. I'm going to use a spiraling method. So here's 1, and we know 1 squared equals 1, 2, 3, 4. So if we had 4, that would be 2 squared, and that's a perfect square. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So 3 squared is a perfect square. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So that's 4 squared is a perfect square. 17, 18, 19, 20, not a square yet. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. This is a perfect square. It's 5 by 5. 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So 36 square units, and notice this is a perfect square. It's a 6 by 6 square. So is 36 a perfect square? Our answer is yes. It equals 6. Okay. So the square root of 36 equals 6 because 6 squared equals 36. Okay. So these are um, two corresponding statements about perfect squares. When we're asked to find the square root of 36, okay, the result is 6 because when I multiply 6 times itself, I get 36. The next one asks, if you added one more unit, square unit, you would have 37 square units. Is 37 a perfect square? How do you know? Well, now that we've seen this picture, you can probably see pretty easily that if we just added one more, we need to add a lot more to get to the next perfect square, that 37 is not a perfect square. So the answer is no. It doesn't add enough squares to reach the next perfect square, which would be 7 squared, the next perfect square. Okay. And then we're asked, what two whole numbers does the square root of 37 lie between? Well, we know it's a little bit more than the square root of 36. So I'm going to use some inequality symbols. And the next perfect square would be 7 squared, which is 49. So that means the square root of 37 lies between 6 and 7. So 6 is less than the square root of 37 which is less than 7. So between 6 and 7. Okay. And now we're going to look at one last side where we're going to compute some square roots on the calculator. Okay. So find the square root of each of the following. Round to two decimal places if needed. Indicate those that are perfect squares and explain why. So first we have the square root of 81. You may or may not know that this is a perfect square. Okay. So I'm going to use the calculator. 81, I'm going to hit the square root button. And again, you'll hit the square root, then you'll hit 81 and enter. And notice I get the result of 9. So square root of 81 equals 9. And this is a perfect square because we got a whole number answer. And the reasoning is because 9 squared 9 times 9 equals 81. Okay. Let's look at the next one, the square root of 20. And if you can imagine spiraling okay, with 20 squares, you might see that this lies between 16 and 25 squares. So this is not going to be a perfect square. 
and it lies between 4 and 5. So we're going to round to 4.47. Okay. Uh, one last note, if you have the TI multi-view calculator, and after you hit square root, it might say something like 2 square root of 5, and it doesn't give you a decimal. If that's the case, hit the double arrow button above the Enter button, and that will change your answer to a decimal. Okay, let's look at the next one, the square root of 9. Well, we saw this already. Let's just verify it on the calculator. The square root of 9 is 3, and it's a perfect square. because 3 squared equals 9. Okay, now we have the square root of 60. Well, that lies between, it's less than 64, which is 8 squared, and it's pretty close, so this is not a perfect square. Let's hit 60, square root, and to two decimal places, we'd round to 7.75. So this is between 7 squared, which is 49, and 8 squared, which is 64. So our result lies between 7 and 8.